Yeah, uh, you can actually touch that thing, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's super cool. Like, take a look at this thing, right? Wow. It's like so simple, but it takes a lot of work, right? Yeah, it takes a lot of work and, uh, yeah. <laughs> No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Like this one. Uh, so what did you do with this one? This is... Okay, this is... Uh, I took uh, two pieces of wood like this. Okay, one uh, like this and a smaller one like that. And, and I cut it at a, at a 15 uh, degree angle here. And here's 90 degrees. And here's uh, you're more than 40. Uh, 45 degrees, and here's uh, less than uh, 45, or it's the opposite way around, I don't know yet, but um, <clears throat> uh, then, like in the middle, I put like a 35.5 degree angle right in the center of, of the smaller slab, smaller slab, here this way, and here I put a 15 degree angle just like here. Uh, then I uh, cut uh, three pieces, one, two, three pieces, strips of wood like this. Here's this plywood that, you know, bends. Let's see. Okay. It's, uh, it comes from Italy. And I connected them uh, uh, with glue to, you know, like, you know, this end and that end and here and there. And the middle one I put in to the, to the ridge that I uh, cut from center to center. And that's what happened. I clamped it and I glued it for like, you know, two hours. So, and uh, then it was finished. I mean, I like the structure as such. I mean, you can, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can, you know, you do this with it. You, uh, you can do that with it, but it's not as pretty as the, uh, you know, the natural. As a free form. What yeah. Are, yeah. Uh, uh, the the natural form. angle is what it's doing with it. Uh, the natural angle, exactly. And uh, uh, um, I was looking at it for a couple of days, and I got bored. I found these things. Uh, these are wooden, you know, dowels. And now I'm just, you know, you know, filling them up in the center, like, you know, random, you know, at random angles, all the way through, like in the middle too. Afterwards, I have to see, you know, maybe I can push them in more, and maybe I can take them out more. I maybe have to cut them off. I don't know. Maybe I can, you know, connect them with, you know, strings. I don't know. I basically don't know, you know, what I, uh, uh, you know, what I'm doing until I'm finished with the object or the product or the painting. That's cool. Okay. So this this is the same thing. You've reused. Okay. This is basically. Let's put this aside. You use the plywood for this guy as well, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. This is like the same wood. Okay. And I connected it. You know here. Okay, one piece and two piece and three pieces. Okay, here's a here's a perfect square. This is a perfect square right here. Square. Is there wood inside that or is that hollow? No, no, there's wood inside. There's wood inside. Another, so you took a perfect square of a, one of these woods. It's like one of these, you know, cut perfectly. Okay, you know, perfectly to a square, and then I glued here this to here, <laughs> and, they, and they all have to have the perfect uh, same size, otherwise. It would, you know, it would look like this, yeah, yeah, or like that, you know. I mean, they have to be perfectly, you know, measured. Symmetrical, totally, uh, all the way. Symmetrically, and I cut here this one. Okay, this is basically also. It's the same length, from here to here, yeah, as to here. And you're going down the center, so your axis of symmetry. If we do a little tilt with the camera, so your axis of symmetry is just going straight down here. It's straight perfectly down. symmetrical. Yeah. That's cool. And if you see from the side, okay, look, you know what you see, I don't know if you see this. <laughs> it's like basically a block. So you, most of your structures you're building, you do a lot of measurements. Oh, yeah. Almost everything you do, you're doing very uh, precise. Uh, well, well, there has to be a sense, you know, to it. Otherwise, you know, it's useless. Yeah. And you, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, how can this be the same length as that? Yeah, yeah. And how can this be the same length as that? Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, it is. You know, yeah. you know, that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. And with the, when you do this, when you're trying to make it symmetrical, it, it becomes very easy to stabilize the structures. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, and if the wood is, you know, uh, you know, high quality wood, it's, you know, consistent all the way through. So there's no, you know, pieces that are, you know, uh, you know, where there's something missing in between, you know, oh. for example. 
Okay, cool, cool. Should we take a look at the, yeah. this one? This one blew me away. Should we get, build it up together here? Oh, sure. Let me give this a quick look. That's this guy, right? These are the angles. So I guess this was a little bit less than 45. This was a little bit more than 45. This was a 35 degree angle one. 15 degrees here. And this was 90 degrees. This side is 90. Uh, sorry, this side is 90. This guy is 15 degrees. And this one was 15 degrees exactly. And it just goes up, right? And very stable, surprisingly very stable. You can see how thin this is, right? Here, can you pass, can you pass me that one as well? I'm just gonna do a close up. Again, super solid. Well, yeah, because uh, there is like tension in there. Oh, there's yeah. There's a lot of tension because of the... The arch on him. Uh, of the bend. Ah, so the tension keeps it more stable. Well, the tension keeps it totally stable. Totally stable. Like, you know, because I had to glue it here perfectly and here. Ah. Yeah. Here and, that, here and, there. and that's basically what they do with bridges. When they're building bridges, they put yeah. tension oh, yeah. to keep it totally stable. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's this At guy. At the same time it moves. It's not, it's not rigid, so it doesn't it's break. Not rigid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like rigid stuff. Beautiful. So these are the squares. You can get a closer look. And all these things are the same size, right? Uh, so this, this thing, I mean, here, I'll, I'll, I'll bring this guy close to you. So he's built basically, uh, they're basically Lego blocks to a certain degree, but his, his blocks. And he's done the golden triangle here. He's done the measurements and uh, do, the golden rectangle. Uh, sorry, the golden rectangle, not triangle, the golden rectangle. And he's, he's doing ratios and, you know, br bringing distances together and connecting it up where... Uh, the golden mean, that's called the golden mean where they, you know, you know, uh, that's the perfect... Uh, that's a sweet spot, you know, where, uh, like, if you take all these, you know, together and you make it smaller and smaller and smaller, that's where it ends up. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So here's the rectangle and he's got the ratios going and it's connecting up right there. Uh, um, this is like packaging wood, you know, I had a shipment of something coming and they packaged, uh, you know, this with, you know, this packaging wood and it stands. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six uh, golden rectangles. Okay, six rectangles and I made, uh, you know, six times six is 36. 36. You know, golden rectangles and then I, you know, put them together like this. And because they have the same size, it's the same material. If you see it, you know, you see the same pattern because it's like a, it's like a twisting kind of thing. See? So you got a little whoop. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could have made more and like on each, you know, level, I could have made it just a little bit smaller, but <laughs> it's a lot of work. So you're giving it a nice spiral, yeah. spiral within a spiral made by yeah. the golden rectangle. So, if you, Beautiful. if you can see that, I mean, I could, I mean, you can build this higher, you can put them, you know, closer together if you want, you know, I mean, you can make it nicer, you know, you can play around with this, you know, if you want to, you can actually, you know, uh, I turn it so you can see all the different angles. I should put it on one of those, you know, you know, display units. Oh you know, yeah, have it rotate. Yeah, where it rotates like this. Uh, seriously, like, like beautiful. And it's not glued or anything, but it stays, and you can play around with it. I mean, if you want to, you can, you know, put them, you know, totally straight if you want to. And you turn it into an apartment, you know, building. Like, just connect yeah. them up. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I could do that, like that. Yeah. Right, and it still has that sort of effect, right? Yeah. And super solid, like... Mm -hmm. So there's like... Yeah, it's beautiful, right? Let's twist it a little bit more. Yeah. And so it just basically... The, the, the most basic form of mathematics that appears in life that we find in the nature used to create a, create a sculpture, right? You know, I believe that, you know, when you do something, you know, sometimes you don't know the reason yeah. you know, why you're doing it. You play around and then you, you know, find something that, you know, pleases you or makes you smile. That's the moment when you know that something's on its way, to, you know, yeah, to becoming, you know, really good.